So all these people that go around today, in my own is prophetic ministry. Every time you go there, it's like consulting a shrine. That's not the church of Jesus. That's not the church of Jesus. Where all you go to do is get prophecy, get prayer, get prophecy, get prayer, I she, I she, I she, I she. That's not the church. Mm -mm. It's not the church of Jesus. The primary job of Jesus' church is to feed and nurture people. That's the primary job from scripture. Except you yourself enjoy babalao patronizing. But if you really want to grow in Christ, you've got to sit down and be taught. You have to sit down and be taught. I was sharing this in Ghana. I said, all those churches where every Sunday people are falling, every Sunday people are falling, 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 falling. That's not Jesus' church. Oh. That's not Jesus' church. Quote me anywhere. Jesus did ministry for three and a half years. In all his teachings, nobody fell down. Because you can't be on the floor and write. You can't be rolling on the floor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And be taking down what? You have to be seated and coordinated to take down notes and think. See, I hear you. Go check your Bible. Was Jesus not anointed? Who is the anointing? Is he not Jesus himself? But nobody fell in his service. Nobody. He was teaching and preaching and healing. Teaching and because that is how people grow. That's how they grow. Somebody that is used to native doctors will be very uncomfortable in this church. Because this place is too boring for native doctor patronizers. Because native doctors must create activity to engage you so they can steal from you. They have to wow you and throw you off your senses. Yeah, yeah. By the time your money has left, you are not thinking. It's after service, you say, what happened to me? It happened now. Say you like native doctors. Say, Damina doesn't have power. Damina doesn't have power. Come and see raw power. People are on the floor. Me. <laughs> me like this. <laughs> if it's to throw people down, you are a small boy in it. You are a small boy. It's just that when we grew up, we gave up childish things. In this Uyo, ask those that were in Uyo with me, 89, 90, 91. I will go to full gospel businessmen, library, Uyo library, ask those that used to be there then. I will preach and throw all of them down till the next day. Nobody can go home. They are all on the ground speaking in tongues all night. Nobody can stand and I'll be there. If you are trying to stand, I will do, you will fall again. Throughout my meetings, you will be on the floor through the night. In fact, in the morning, they have to carry some people home because they can't go home. I know that we have grown, man. We have grown. And even with that, the people didn't grow at all. They didn't grow at all. Can you grow on the floor? You sit and take down instructions. That's how you grow. Hello, guys. Welcome to the show. You know, whenever I listen to Dr. Ebe preaches, I always get wiser every single time because but let me just say one thing i do not agree with every single thing he preaches no no no, no. that's not what i'm talking about but you can kind of get some common sense from what he says when you listen to him without any bias when you listen to what he is saying without uh, uh, um, a preconceived hatred towards him, then you get to understand what he is saying. Now, you might not necessarily agree with it, but at least it will make a lot of sense naturally. So he is talking about the whole signs and wonders in the church. And I think this is one of those things that, um, in my own opinion, hasn't really been a positive thing for the church or for the Christians, but rather a destructive force in the church. Because, you know, human beings are funny, right? They are really, really funny. And sometimes we want quick fix to all our problems. We do not really want to take one thing at a time. We do not really love doing the hard work. We just prefer to have everything done for us. We, we want to have quick fix to every single problem. We forget to understand that every single thing takes time and most things in life are a work in progress. You need to work towards achieving any single thing. And more too often, these things take a lot of time to get done. But we are not willing for that. No, we are not, we are not built for that. All we care about is doing quick fix, taking shortcuts. And uh, oh boy, men of God have realized this. Men of God have seen that we are very 
gullible people, many of God have seen that we are really ignorant about a lot of things. And so they have wasted no time to use this against us. They have wasted no time to, 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 to take advantage of our ignorance. And they are now playing us for the fool. <laughs> yeah, that's what they are doing. You will see all kinds of signs and wonders in the church. And uh, you ask yourself, are these really for, for real? You know, do, do those people in the church who are following these signs and wonder uh, re really think this through? Have they really taken a moment to reflect on all these things they see going on in the church? Have they? Because that, that, as, as a reasonable person, you would think that people would reflect on what they have been told or what they've seen their daddy and mommy in the Lord do. You think they would, they would reflect on that. But you'll be shocked to, to, to see that most of them will say it's the Lord's doing. Most of them will shout hallelujah. Most of them will say that do not ever question the Lord's work. Most of them will say the Lord is great. And whatever they see the, uh, a man of God do, it's the Lord's doing. They never question themselves. And society, a society that does not question anything is a society that is built for failure and that is why africa is failing because most africans are christians or are religious people as a whole and they do not ask questions they have been told that asking questions is ungodly they have been told that they should never ever question a man of God's decision. They have been told that men of God are above their questioning. That men of God operate in another realm and so they are above questioning from their members. And these members who should have questioned the men of God about why those men of God or why the men of God needs to operate in another realm have just swallowed it and sat quietly. And that is why men of God have continued on this path of deception and lies and, 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 and cheat and, and, and sham and charade. They've just continued doing it because people who are supposed to ask questions are not asking any questions. People who are supposed to be, to be, to be watchful are not being watchful. They've all just swallowed whatever the man of God have told them. And Look at where we all found ourselves. So I thank God for Dr. Ebe Damina for pointing out some of these things. I thank God for all those who have realized that they have been taken advantage of by some men of God and they have decided to remove themselves from that situation. I thank God for them. And I thank God for those of you who are watching these videos, who are sharing it, who are also creating your own videos, sharing your thoughts and opinions on what some of some men of God are doing. I thank God for you guys. I believe that through our collective effort, we can help break people away from the blindfoldedness of men of God. I Thank you guys for doing that. And please, if you are not doing it, take it upon yourself to help others who know little or nothing. Take it upon yourself to help others who might be ignorant enough to have fallen victim to the sham and charade of some men of God. Take upon yourself to educate those who do not know any better. I believe it is a godly thing when you see something that is wrong 
being done and then you did not keep quiet. You spoke out. I think it's a godly thing to do so. So I will appreciate any single one of you out there who came across videos of men of God taking advantage of their members and do not just sit quietly and don't do anything. No, no, no. I will urge you guys to say something. Make a video pointing out what you think was wrong with what, the, with what the man of God said and posting it on social media. That video you did will help other people. Make a comment behind, uh, below the video. Share your thoughts and your opinion. Always do that. But please do that in a very constructive way. Don't go insulting men of God. Rather, criticize them or debate what they've said or, or put forth your own argument, counteracting their argument. The only way you win an argument is to put forth your own point very clearly so that the, 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 the listeners or the viewers can understand your point clearly. And by so doing, you will win the argument. That's the only way. The only way you win an argument is when you put forth your point very clearly. Don't insult people. Just make your argument straight and forward so that the listeners or the viewers would hear you very, very clearly and from there would decide for themselves whether or not you were right. So, thank you guys for watching the video. Thank you guys for liking the video. And most importantly, thank you guys for subscribing. Like always, we appreciate the love and support. Thank you, thank you, and thank you.